Good morning, Hayes. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I hope you are all well. This Sunday morning, I would like to share a story with you. Someone actually did send this story to me a while ago. It is a true story. The story is of a Jewish song about a Holocaust survivor. It is about a woman who was widowed. She was childless and lived alone in great poverty. I guess it is not hard to assume that she had every reason to be sad, to cry and be depressed. But she never let herself. She maintained that God love is but Eden. In time we will know why, but today there is no reason to cry. One Friday she had no money to buy food for the Sabbath meal. And I guess many of you know that the Jewish Sabbath begins on Friday evening 6 p.m. But still the woman covered her table in a white tablecloth to honor the holy day. All she could afford was a small candle to fulfill the commandments to light the Sabbath candle lights, she lit her candle with great joy and recited the blessings over it. But a gust of wind blew through a crack in the window, extinguishing her candle. The Sabbath had begun, so she couldn't rekindle the, the flame. The woman was truly crushed. She felt the tears, but a small teardrop escaped from her eye. It trickled down her cheek and dripped onto the candle, causing the flame to miraculously reignite. Now the woman really couldn't hold back her tears. They burst forth like water through a broken dam. She cried for the light rekindled by her tear, but mostly she cried out the pain held in for so many years. The song concludes, God's love is but hidden. In time we will know why. But the heaven had told her it's all right to cry. Why am I telling this story to you? As our country returns to normalities, I guess there are mixed emotions in our society. I believe many are excited. Hooray! At last life is returning to normality. I can go down to park. As from yesterday, so much of our country is now open. Even the churches are free to open for public worship. St. Mary's, though, will open the earliest on the 19th of July. Even the traffic on the skies is on the increase giving a possibility for families to be reunited, even for families to go abroad for holidays. But on the other side, there are people for whom even a word said hooray is not something pleasant. In fact, it's an ugly word. During the lockdown, I had the honor to take quite a few funerals and I know how people tried their best to keep their emotions under lid. But now, when the ease is coming, perhaps the grief is welling up. There are these tears which want to come out. And then, is there hardly a day 
when we don't hear about the job loss, when we don't hear that the furloughed worker scheme is soon coming to an end. It wouldn't surprise me if there are some, at least in our own society, who are worried for their job, who are worried for their business, will it survive? There are so many heartaches today. What can, as your parish priest, say on such times? I would like to read to you a portion of our set reading for today. The reading, what I'm going to do, comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. Here Jesus was speaking to some people who were burdened, who were weary, perhaps, of the demands of the time, uh, at that time, of religion. Others, perhaps like us today, weary of the life circumstances. I believe Jesus, these words, were them and for us today too. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. But I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. What am I saying? Am I saying that say a little prayer and the grief will disappear? Am I saying that if you say a little prayer, your job, your business will be secure? I pray that it will be like that. But who am I to predict such things? But what I am saying is this, Jesus never despises or turns anyone away. With him it's okay to be worried over our safety, over our jobs. With him it's okay to be sad and it is alright even to cry. He does not want anyone to keep his or her painful emotions pent up inside. Instead, he wants us to turn to him with our trouble and rest in him. May God give you faith to lay your head on Christ's chest, on his shoulder. Cry out your pain to him. He understands. He invites you. Come. Stay safe. Stay blessed.